Hi, my name is Murray Hebert from the Sumitra Chair on Southeast Asian Studies here at CSIS. My guest today is Secretary of Finance Cesar Parisima of the Philippines. Secretary Parisima, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, the Philippines has had rather stellar economic growth in 2013 for the last few years, actually. Uh, what does the government, the private sector, have to do to continue this growth over the next few years? Well, uh, we have to do more of the same. No? Uh, basically, since President Aquino uh, came to office, uh, uh, he's improved governance uh, in the country. And as a result, uh, during his term, his average uh, growth of the country is at 6.3%. Uh, uh, and the driving force, really, is the fact that there is more confidence about the Philippines, about the future of the Philippines, by the financial markets, by businesses, and by our uh, people. And we need to continue to uh, make doing business much easier, make uh, the, the Philippines more open to foreign uh, uh, investment, uh, make our environment more competitive, invest in infrastructure so that uh, companies that locate in uh, the Philippines are not at a handicap compared to uh, other countries and that our connection with global supply chains uh, is more uh, seamless and that uh, uh, we continue to create uh, fiscal space so that uh, the Philippines can continue to invest in our people because ultimately the key asset of the Philippines is our uh, people. Um, economies are about people and we are the youngest uh, uh, population in um, Asia and we're excited by the fact that uh, you know, in, in um, 20 to 30 years, no, uh, the bulk of our people, if that trend continues, will be at uh, in, in middle class. No? And uh, when that happens, uh, young middle class are the growth engines of uh, uh, economies. Well, the uh, the uh, uh, trade talks in the region, uh, the one that people are talking about a lot is the Trans-Pacific Partnership, of which the U.S. is a member. Philippines has expressed some interest and in maybe joining sometime down the road. What, what kinds of, what does the Philippines have to do to, to get ready to join the TPP in the future? Uh, uh, clearly, the Philippines uh, wants to be part of uh, uh, TPP. Uh, TPP, as uh, those who uh, created the concept, uh, has a goal of hiring, uh, having a high standards uh, uh, trade deal. No? Uh, in the case of the Fili Philippines, we have uh, to deal with changes in three uh, levels. No? Uh, one uh, would be a change in that we require executive action. Another would be a uh, legislative action. No? And uh, the first two, uh, I see no problem. No? Where I think uh, we might find more challenge is uh, in changing the constitution. Uh, for example, in the removing some of the restrictions that are enshrined in our uh, constitution. No? Now, uh, will the Philippines uh, do that? My answer is yes, uh, but it's a question of uh, uh, time. No? Um, the president has clearly spoken that uh, right now uh, it's best that we continue to focus on uh, changes that doesn't require constitutional change because there's still so much that needs to be done to continue to reform the, the, the economy of the uh, country. Uh, as we speak, there are bills that we've filed uh, to remove restrictions on uh, uh, foreign participation in professions that does not require uh, constitutional uh, change. I think that's a very big uh, uh, first step. No? Uh, at, at the executive uh, level, um, two years ago, we opened up uh, skies outside uh, uh, Metro Manila that, again, proved to uh, be the good right move because it has increased tourism uh, uh, access and uh, arrivals uh, into the uh, country. No? So clearly, uh, Philippines uh, being part of uh, TPP is something that uh, the president has said uh, uh, we want. No? Uh, so we will just have to create a roadmap uh, uh, to get there. The U.S. Trade Representative's uh, office has uh, put Philippines a number of years ago on and its watch list on intellectual property rights. And yet uh, we see the Philippines taking some steps to, to try and address this issue. What, could you just tell us what, what Philippines has done to boost protection of uh, intellectual property? Well, uh, we're approaching this uh, from uh, various uh, standpoints, from the standpoint of enforcement, uh, 
uh, we've seen an increase uh, activity and better coordination among different government agencies in uh, running after those who uh, violate uh, intellectual property rights. Uh, from an institutional standpoint, uh, we've created uh, a new uh, body that uh, should help uh, uh, to facilitate uh, efforts uh, in this regard. And third, at the legislative level, we came up with uh, additional laws no, that uh, give uh, the enforcement agencies more teeth. And as a result, uh, the past um, 18 months, we've seen uh, uh, better uh, compliance uh, with inter intellectual property uh, uh, rights rules. Uh, 2015 is a big year for Southeast Asia. The, uh, there's uh, the effort to establish the ASEAN economic community. Uh, what do you see as the biggest challenges facing the Philippines as the ASEAN um, uh, community tries to integrate its economy more? Well, integration will happen uh, at various levels. No? Uh, and the most obvious level would be uh, uh, physical connectivity. No? Although the Philippines is an archipelago and not connected to the mainland uh, of uh, Asia, no? uh, it uh, gives uh, us uh, uh, more reason to accelerate investment in ports and uh, airports because that's the way we're going to be uh, uh, connected, uh, reducing that uh, infrastructure gap is uh, crucial. No? Uh, second, uh, we need to make sure that our people are ready for uh, global competition, that they have the training, the skills, no? so, so that they can be productive participants in a m more uh, integrated uh, ASEAN. Third, our own uh, rules-making uh, bodies will have to uh, move up their standards uh, to make sure that uh, it's aligned with the rest of uh, ASEAN. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, in, in the financial uh, space, in the trade space, in uh, products, no? I think uh, for us to have an integrated uh, market, there must be mutual uh, uh, recognition. And uh, that's some, all of those uh, are areas where uh, we need to make investments. Secretary Parisima of the Philippines, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.